Hi everyone, welcome to my table. You ready to do the activity for today? We're gonna do art. And we're still gonna be exploring opposites. So let me go over my materials. I have a white piece of paper. I have some oil pastels, some markers here, and some colorful pens. You could use watercolor, paint, chalk, whatever you want and whatever you have at home, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our piece of paper and we're gonna fold it in half. That'll give us two sides to the piece of paper. And we're gonna draw two different opposites, or opposites, one on this side and one on this side. So you can draw whatever you'd like. I'm gonna draw the opposites of day and night, okay? So what's in the sky during the day? What makes everything so bright and so warm? It's yellow. Yeah, Mr. Sun. He's not always there, but he makes it daytime. So I'm gonna draw a sun. And what's in the sky at night that glows white? Yeah, the moon, right? I'm gonna outline that in gray because the sky is dark. So I have my sun and my moon. Now I'm gonna fill out the rest of my picture. Have a look. Okay, so I used oil pastels for this because I don't really get to play with it very much. And look at my hands. I had a lot of fun here. You can see I have day and I have night. And I could add more to this photo because what's, what do you see during the day? You see people and birds and dogs, right? Do you see those same things at night? Maybe sometimes, but there are animals that are nocturnal like owls and possums, and you can see those at night. There's a lot of things you can do with this art project. You could do cold-blooded animals, like snakes, and warm-blooded animals, like humans. There's a lot of opposites out there, and just draw a picture that you're really happy with, and you can put this up on your wall, and you can talk about more opposites. Anyway, I hope you have fun doing art today, and tomorrow we're gonna do some more baking, so, I look forward to seeing you then. Have a good day. Bye-bye.